and welcome back for some more Detroit so in the last episode that we shot we were playing as Marcus and we became the hero of Jericho break the walls down that's my line bitch yeah well you were too slow you were too slow on the uptake so meh but anyways <laughs> but anyways we're gonna see what the game has in store for us next if the rotation is anything to be indicated, we're probably going with Connor this time, but let's did see. You know the motto of nope. <laughs> no, I did not know that. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> oh, God. Yep. <laughs> Straight to Eden Club. I knew it. Hello, Connor. Hank. Oh, feels like somebody's playing with a drill inside my skull. Sure, this is the place. You pretty skull the address fucked, sir. Yep, pretty much. <laughs> Cybernetically okay. skull fucked. Oh god. Let's get going. <laughs> All right, Hank. <laughs> One step at a time. Ooh. This is a big building. Sexiest androids in town. Hold I that thought. I don't know why you insisted on coming here. <laughs> oh. oh boy. No, don't leave me, Hank. I'm very naive. Don't leave me out here. This is going to be entertaining. Welcome to and we're off to a oh, we're off to a strong start. Okay. Sorry, you look at that peck meat. <laughs> okay. Well, I suppose this is one way to use Connor, the. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> Gee, what a, what am I doing, Lieutenant? <laughs> Just look at where we're at. Now, before that I happened, mean, I was good. It is an android. Yep. I mean, this is clearly a interesting use of the uh, graphics engine. The investigation's ongoing, sir. I can't tell you anything. Hey, Hank. Oop. <laughs> bye bye, fat boy. <laughs> Lieutenant Anderson and his plastic. Now, oh, this fucker. We've been assigned all cases involving androids. Oh, yeah? I'm like wasting time. There's some pervert who, uh, <laughs> got more action than he could handle. <laughs> we'll have a look anyway, if you don't mind. <laughs> Come on, let's go. It's, uh, starting to stink of booze in here. Night, Lieutenant. Hmm. I'm victim examine android. I don't see anything else of notice. So we'll start off right here. Let's go with diagnose. Critically damaged, critically damaged. Okay. Analyze. Oh, hey! Oh, Connor, you're so disgusting. I think I'm gonna puke again. Please don't. I don't know. I mean, we knew it was blue blood. Unless each blood yeah. has its own corresponding model. Probably, but I think that was the first time Hank actually saw... I don't know how to do that. <laughs> you know what? I think you might be right. All right, let's see how this guy died. Cardiac arrest. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. I said it before it even popped up. No sign of a cardiac event. Heart attack, not cause of. Oh, never mind. I was about to say she gave that boy the ride of his life. Clearly. Sign me up. <laughs> Alright, let's see. If it wasn't cardiac arrest, what was it? Ah, he's one of those. I kind of figured it might have been asphyxiation since um, the next indicator was his eyes. Yep, busted capillaries. 
26, 24 p.m. Hmm, he got an early night. Michael Graham. Sounds slightly familiar. Oh, this should be an interesting reconstruction. Oh, please let it happen the way I think it did. Now we're about to find out. Check the other side of the room. Ah, damn it. <laughs> Uh, okay, we can't see nothing. anything else yet. Yep. Mm. Oh, just one event? That's it? Oh, maybe not. Uh, that's not much fun. Well, I guess it depends on what you're into. The adult of me is disappointed. <laughs> Very well. I'll see if I can look around the club some more for your enjoyment. Then. He didn't die of a heart attack. He was strangled. Whoop. Yeah, I saw the bruising on the neck. Doesn't prove anything, though. Could have been a rough play. We're missing something here. Mm. Think you can read the android's memory. Maybe you can see what happened. Maybe. I can try. Driver's license says Michael Graham. Credit card, cash in the wallet. Picture of his wife and two daughters. Oh boy. Well, I wouldn't want to make that call. Yeah, that's uh that's an awkward call to make. <laughs> Don't let Connor do it. Oh god, no. <laughs> All right. Excuse me, Matt. Your husband has died because he was strangled by a stripper. Goodbye and good day. <laughs> no, because he was strang reactivation required by because he was strangled by a prostitute cyborg or android. Reactivated. Think you can do it? It's badly damaged. If I can, it'll only be for a minute, maybe less. Quick time event. Just hope it's long enough to learn something. R A nine. Okay. Well, to each his own. Alright, calm down. She seems like she might be a deviant. Calm down. Everything's alright. All we want is to know what happened. Is he... is he dead? Very much. Tell me what happened. He started... hitting me... again... and again. Mm. I begged him to stop, but he wouldn't... It was like... Did you kill him? No. I didn't choose that. No, it wasn't me. Well, you ran out of time. Yeah, no. What else do you remember? Hurry, we don't have much time. I, 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 I don't know. I, I don't. I, I don't know. I can't remember. What, what do you mean? Were you, you alone don't have in the room? Was there anyone else with you? He wanted to play with two girls. That's what he said. There was two of us. What model was the other android? Did it look like you? Damn, I was too slow. But at least now we know there was two of them. Was another android. This happened over an hour ago. It's probably long gone. No, it couldn't go outside dressed like that unnoticed. It might still be here. Think you could find a deviant among all the other androids in this place? Maybe. Deviants aren't easily detected. Oh shit! It's got to be some other way. Maybe an well. eyewitness, somebody who saw it leaving the room. I got an idea. Manager, a few questions about what he saw. You let me know if you think of anything. Of course, he looks at the Asian one first. No, I mean, he came in maybe two, three times. I mean, these guys, they don't really talk very much, you know. Just scanning the room first. Well, I know, I know a good way to find a deviant. It's completely unethical. 
but it's effective. They feel they feel overwhelming emotions, right? Fear and whatnot. Threaten to shut them down. I guarantee you the one that becomes extremely afraid is the one you're looking for. Need human fingerprints. Well, I know where to find a human that won't argue. Aww. Seriously? Excuse yep. me, Lieutenant. Can you come here a second? Found something? Maybe. Can you rent this, Tracy? For fuck's sake, Connor, we got better things to do. Please, <laughs> Lieutenant. Just trust me. I like the dynamic between these two. Yeah. And there be background noise. Dollar a minute, okay. This is not gonna look good on my expense account. No, eh, probably not. Delighted to meet you. Follow me. I'll take you to your room. Okay, now what? Bro. Oh, shit. What the hell are you doing? Blue-haired Tracy headed toward the entrance. Okay. Oh, I see how this is gonna go. We gotta reconstruct the whole thing from multiple perspectives, which means number 14 is next on our rental list. It saw something. What are you talking about? I saw what? The Deviant leave the room. A blue-haired Tracy. Club policy is to wipe the android's memory every two hours. We only have a few minutes if we want to find another witness. Hey, what am I supposed to do with this one? Tell you you changed your mind. Let's try this one. Hmm? This better be worth it. I would've just walked straight to the wall. It's the front of the club. Turn back into the club. Ha! Good save. Thank you. Looks like number 12. Or the one on stage. It saw the blue haired Tracy. I know which way it went. Then go for it. That one right there. there are androids everywhere. How are you gonna tell which one the is guy? Tracy with blue hair? Look at the angle. Oh, he would know. Yeah, he would have a good a good line of sight. Which direction it took. Yeah. I just need to find another android on its path. Turned into the red room. Next one to have clear line of sight is the pole dancer. All right. Not just the pole dancer, though. That one, number 27. God, I wish I could move faster, because time is running out. <laughs> Oh, yes. Ah, oh, damn, fat boy. 
Damn, that didn't work. I didn't All see right. anything. I made a mistake somewhere. This is kind of. Be the most expensive investigation of my career. <laughs> All right, let's try this one. Cop. Okay. Damn it. No. I lost its track again. I spent all this money and I'm still not having fun. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. Blue room. Got it. Just over a minute. Back to her pod. I would say check that first one right there. Yeah, 23. I was thinking the same thing. Come on. Bingo. Next to number 22. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. the room. Son of a bitch. Left the room, where to go? Come on. <laughs> that looks like another victim. Came out. Maybe this Tracy will know. Come on. Damn it. I'm surprised you didn't ask the cleaning person. I lost its track again. Ah, just barely missed. Oh, there we go. Staff door. I know where it went. Follow me. Oh, fucking a. This is crazy. Wait a minute, where's the staff door? Seriously, where's the staff door? Oh, right there. All right. Well, this has been an interesting trip. <laughs> yes. I can get out of the way. Wait. I'll take it from here. Are we sure it went through there? It looked like there was a secondary door. Sure. Ah, oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> a blue haired Tracy. Search warehouse. Well, I am robot. <laughs> Shit. Or I robot. We're too late. No, we're not. Gotta be here somewhere. Oh yeah, she's definitely over here in this area. Didn't get it. Can't remember what her head looked like though. Like hair-wise, I know it was blue. Yeah, I got time. The first immortals are among us. Okay, that's good. Turn around. Don't forget to check that dark corner. Christ, look at them. They get used till they break, and then they get tossed out. There she is. Whoa! What the hell? 
Multiple deviants. Oh, damn. <laughs> oh. She got she gotta punch it. Oh shit. Thank you, alright? <laughs> Not what I expected when I chose throw. This is definitely one of the more action packed sequences. Mm -hmm. Oh, come on, Connor, get up. Oh. All my training prepared me for this moment. <laughs> this must have been a long sequence to record for the motion capture. Oh, yeah. Well, they've already shown that they've broken it up into sequences. Yep. Probably should have shot her. I thought I was going to shoot her in the leg. When that man broke the other Tracy, I knew I was next. I was so scared. Oh, maybe I, I read, made the right choice after stop, all. But he wouldn't. And so I put my hands around his throat and I squeezed until he stopped moving. I didn't mean to kill him. I just wanted to stay alive. Get back to the one I love. Android lesbians. Okay. I wanted her to hold me in her arms again. Make me forget about the humans. Their smell of sweat. And their dirty words. Come on. Let's go. Uh, about that. Probably huh. better this way. I didn't think that would improve his perception. I figured it would. Hmm. So I made the right choice after all. Okay. Yeah. The human choice? Yeah. In that case, it was the right choice, definitely. Deviants escaped. Well, I, may, I mainly debate about whether or not to to shoot because of possible lethality. I mean, she was charging and trying to kill, so. Mm -hmm. And remember, androids are not supposed to operate weapons. Well, this is very, well, they're not supposed to possess. Operate's a different thing. Uh, Search well. for blue-haired deviant. Well, there was three sections I failed, I failed to miss because I was concerned on time. Pursue Deviants. Huh, I wonder what the divergent path of that would have been. Leave crime scene, find android eyewitnesses, ask Hank help. Hmm, I wonder how this would have gone differently. I chose the aggressive approach because I needed answers quick. Yeah. But, you know what? At least we're now friends with Hank. We are we are winning the big lug over. <clears throat> but you did fail the mission. Matter of perspective, really. We found the killers. According to Amanda. Yeah, you definitely found the killers. And that was the mission. So, like I said, it's a matter of perspective. I found mm -hmm. the killers. I just let them go. Well, yeah, you had a choice in a sense. Yeah. Because had you shot her... It would have gone very differently. 
But in fact, look, there was two different. There was two other paths. Had I did shoot. Mm-hmm. But in either case, yeah, I mean, it was mission accomplished. And from what we learned, you can't say the guy didn't deserve what he got. So, like Hank said, maybe it's better that way. So, that is going to conclude this episode. Definitely the most action-packed we've had so far. Um... I mean, Marx's episode last time was pretty uh, action-packed, but not to this degree. So. Yeah, this one takes the cake. Oh, yeah, definitely took a lot of time to get that motion capture correctly. All right, so with that being said, we'll conclude right here and tune in for the next video. See you there.